God bless each one of you. So, yesterday we did a Bible study that we're going to upload in a, in a couple hours for Family Seven Ministries, which is right here. Go check that out. It's our other channel. It's actually me and my family. We named it Family of Seven Ministries. We preached together, street preaching, and church services. And yesterday we were talking about how even though the person who follows Christ that we already know that we're going to have tribulations and problems, that God is with us and that he's still the answer. Well, today we were driving actually on the road, um, you know, drinking our cup of coffee. And um, we see this truck, and from the far, we can read it, read it. Now, I always tell my mom, get closer to it so I can take a picture. And here's the picture. And when I saw this picture, I knew God spoke to me, and I just had to make a video about it. Now, the reason why I wanted to do that was because God is still the answer throughout all problems and tribulations, throughout all darkness, all right? Um, we know that God is the one who protects us from all evilness, from all darkness, right? Um, the reason why I wanted to make this video is really... That to remember that Jesus is still the answer. No matter what. That if you feel the emptiness. If that you're trying to seek your purpose in life. That Jesus is the answer. That no matter what problems and tribulations you have. Jesus is still the answer. No matter, no matter what things are in your way. Jesus is still the answer. And brothers and sisters. Just remember that God is what featured one of us. And there's this verse. There's actually, I actually got my Bible with me. Um, it's in Psalms. It's in Psalms 34. That's actually what the Bible study is about. But we were focusing on this particular verse, which is actually verse 19. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Remember that God is going to deliver us from all of our problems and tribulations. And remember, Jesus is still the answer. Amen. God bless each one of you. And remember, Jesus loves you.